I think children have most uninfluenced opinions. I think they're so clear and they really wear everything right there on their faces. And at some point I was interested in, in seeing this through eyes of children. And uh, there was a young boy and, and his dad sitting right next to me on the bench. So I asked them. I, I asked them if they wanted to comment on what's going on or so would they care to say anything. I think it's, it's really horrible, you know, that thousands of people just ended, you know, suddenly ended. And that fuels anger and hatred. And I, I you know, I just am very, I'm about to cry now, but I'm just, you know, very sad and angry that this happened. And so many people had to die, you know. They didn't what, have to die. Right? They didn't have to die. I mean, there's no need for this. But kids get it. In some ways, kids understand the complexity of the story a lot more than adults do. And you can just like, you know, say goodbye to the world because one nuke gets fired, and then everybody else breaks the nuclear treaties, and then, you know, it's like a quote from Albert Einstein, who, you know, was talking about, you know, what I used to say to my old friends about how humans will destroy. He said, the first world war was fought in the trenches. The second world war was fought in the air. I don't know how the third world war will be fought, but the fourth world war will be fought using stones, clubs, and bows and arrows. Just saying how, you know, we'll probably, you know, just, you know, it's very scary to think nukes in the wrong hands like Osama bin Laden or Saddam Hussein, you know, it's just very scary because, you know, their ambition is, you know, just, you know, blow up the entire world and, and then they go to heaven and everybody else goes to hell, you know, so that's what they believe in. He wasn't like a child, he was like a grown-up in a child's body and that kind of felt strange, even a little bit disturbing. I also think uh, Osama bin Laden and it hasn't been confirmed yet, but you know, Saddam Hussein has been a suspect in supplying him with the resources and things. So I think, um, you know, those two should be, you know, quote, brought to justice, unquote, as many of our leaders. But, you know, in reality, I think we should kill them. I think we should go and we should kill them, make them die.